All right. Looking at the uh, uh, officer aides uh, video camera uh, body cam issue, I'm just I'm, I'm getting new ideas on this. I mean, it just it takes time to to think th about um, their their motive the the this, the issue surrounding this. I'm trying to get as much help as I can from ChatGPT by asking various weird questions. Today, it's been months since May 25th. Uh, today I decided to put the, the times for the, the cameras, well both for the Natchitoches arrest and now for West Milwaukee, that arrest that happened in May, Natchitoches was 2022. And the times um, have a lot of discrepancies, especially for the, the West Milwaukee case. These uh, <clears throat> the officer aide uh, did not turn his body camera on at all uh, on the approach and the whole time. Um, and so uh, from uh, from the initial approach, I, I, it's not 10 minutes, okay? It's 14, it's 15 minutes, okay? Because Officer Tayloff turned her body camera on at about 12.01. No, 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 at about, about 1250, she turned her body camera on and, and, uh, and that was 1250 or 1251, but I have to subtract, I have to add four minutes to that. So, or five minutes, I have to add five minutes to that because that's when officer aid uh, approached me five minutes before. So there was a five minute gap. And my, my GoPro doesn't record the, uh, the times Okay, my GoPro doesn't have GPS. It doesn't have the times recorded. Actually, it does have the time recorded. My mistake. I'm so back and forth with all of this. It's so frustrating. Okay, if I look at the, the uh, GoPro Quick app, it says the time that it was recorded, okay? And I have to look at that again now, actually, now that I think about it. I'm putting in all these times for the body cams, and now I'm, <clears throat> I'm remembering that I got to do, I should put on also the quick, the GoPro quick apps time as well. So <clears throat> that should show five minutes before Tayloff turned her body camera on. All right. But what I'm trying to get at here is that it wasn't a matter of, aid turning his body camera on five minutes late no that's he it, it was the, the situation was not recorded until five minutes later he did not turn his camera on until 15 minutes later okay there's a 15 minute gap for him personally and and uh <clears throat> it's it's a five minute gap for uh the situation but his perspective needs five, or is, is five minutes. And uh, they, okay, so there's, there's that. There's, there's a couple of different gaps to consider there. There's a couple of different gaps to, dis to, to consider, to think about. It's not just, uh, oh, he turned his camera on five minutes later. No, it's... It was uh, the situation wasn't recorded by either of the cops until five minutes in, and he didn't turn his camera on until 15 minutes later. Okay, <laughs> and um, and then as I'm looking at this edited video, I uh, at the very beginning when he's driving up to the police station, there's editing immediately happening over his computer, and it's also a big black square covering the time. So 
they've edited out the time, all right? And that is frustrating to me. I mean, time is pretty darn important when it comes to uh, body cam footage. And they just, they, to protect the computer, and, and they just kind of put a big black square that covers the whole right side. So as I'm trying to look at times, I, I noticed that, and I'm like, wow, that is just, that is ridiculous how they can edit like that for my trial. I'm not just some person coming in asking questions about some general stop. I'm, I'm the defendant, and they're editing times. They're editing things that are important, all right, with their documentation. This is, this is horrible work. <clears throat> So that, that was noticed, I noticed that. All right, um, let's see. And then uh, I also got a big problem with them, uh, like uh, leaving my camera on top of my car. I think it was because they wanted it to get stolen because it works in their favor to not have my camera as a part of the evidence. They tried to get that stolen, and I know the prosecutor's gonna fight uh, my camera being entered into evidence as well. So there's a couple of different, uh, many different levels that they can work with. It's all s s more sinister on top of it, on top of the, the, the issues. So um, they, they, uh, they, they, they didn't, you know, say anything on, on camera about wanting to leave my camera. It was just kind of uh, aides pointing to my camera and, and tail off knowing what to do or knowing what not to do. And that is to avoid uh, touching my camera, trying to make it look like they acknowledge it. And, and they, they wanted it stolen because, oh, he makes great, great police reports, which... Apparently the, the prosecutor said he's not going to use, but it's like, that's what they wanted to rely on. They look at me as an easy choice. And it's like, I question what's more important to them, the, the target being broken into or my, my stuff being left on top of my car. And they've said that there's been reportings of break-ins in cars. And here they go and leave my stuff laying on top of my car for a long time, for like an hour. I need to get that time too. I didn't fully uh, I record that. It was about from 101 to 155 or so. So it was about a good hour. And I could just see Officer Aid when he returned to my car uh, thinking to himself, oh darn it, you know. He was, I, I, could, I could feel the disappointment that he's probably experienced with that, with discovering that my camera was not stolen. So it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's a really amazing that the prosecutor wants to say that, oh, you know, I, I'd say that the first five minutes Taylor, that uh, aid did not record and, and the prosecutor just kind of passes it off as no big deal by telling the judge that, oh, uh, yeah, the first 30 seconds are silent. That's it. So it's, this is an uphill battle for me. Like, like people have been saying in comments, defending yourself is a full-time job these days. 